What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mike. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. So guys, today we're going to install a Samsung 2TB 870 QVO into our computer. We already have a Samsung 860 EVO installed. It's a 1TB and it's already filled up. So today we're going to install this, initialize it, and then we're going to clone it using Samsung's data migration software. As you can see, we're already cloning it right now. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a two terabyte Samsung 870 QVO with read speeds up to 560 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 530 megabytes per second. And these speeds will vary depending on your computer's components. We purchased this SSD for less than $200 and the link will be in the description below to where you can buy it. This is our fourth Samsung SSD purchase. And whether it's an 840, 860 or 870, these SSDs look all the same. And I have to give props to Samsung for making a consistent product. And every Samsung SSD we've purchased has never failed, making their SSDs reliable. And installing this SSD is very easy. First thing you wanna do is turn off your computer and then open the PC case. First, you wanna connect your SSD to your power supply and then connect the SATA cable from your SSD to your motherboard. And that's it. Next, power on your computer and log back in and go to My PC. And don't be shocked when you don't see your brand new SSD drive. <laughs> because first, you have to initialize your SSD. So now, go to your run command and type disk mgmt.msc. You're now in disk management. You'll see your new SSD is grayed out Simply right click it and create new simple volume. And we're gonna use the default settings. Make it real simple. And now it's initialized and you can see your SSD in Windows. Now it's time to clone the old drive to the new drive. You wanna launch Samsung data migration software and start the cloning process. So just follow the tabs and hit start. Now this process took about an hour and a half to clone the one terabyte to the two terabyte SSD. And when the cloning process is finished, you need to shut down your computer. And to get your PC to boot from the new SSD, unplug the old SSD and plug the new SSD into that SATA port. And if you want, you can plug the old SSD into the other SATA port. You're basically swapping SATA ports. And this will cause your PC to boot up the new SSD not the old one. So now turn your computer back on and log in. And you'll see now the new SSD is our primary hard drive under letter C. And you can see our old SSD under the letter F. And my goal is to format that SSD. And either I'll keep it or I'll give it to my son. Either way, it's one terabyte of SSD storage and more storage, the better. Well guys, we're all done here. And once again, I wanna thank you so much for watching. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe and keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day.